Verse 13. And, and I got the Amplified. And we ask that you appreciate them and hold them in the highest esteem and love because of their work on your behalf. Live in peace with one another. Verse 14. We earnestly urge you, believers, admonish those who are out of line, the undisciplined, the unruly, the disorderly. Encourage the timid who lack spiritual courage. Help the spiritually weak. Be very patient with everyone. Always controlling your temper. All right, so... The question we're asking is because we're working off of verse 19. Do not quench the spirit. So the question we're asking, well, we've been talking a lot about how do we keep ourselves on fire for God. We did that last week. But this week, how do we put that fire out? <laughs> well, we're starting to get into some of the meat and potatoes right now. Here's a couple things on how we put that fire out. You know, the Amplified breaks it down. It says, he urges you believers admonish those who are out of line so if we're out of line and what does out of line mean it means out of line with scripture yes but he's also talking he's also talking different and with, according to a leaders but so it's it's a double and <laughs> you know so who are out of line the undisciplined he said that's out of line they're undisciplined which goes with what you said. They're undisciplined in their, in, in their understanding of the Scripture. Well, I'm taking this out of context to say this because it sounds really good for me. And I don't know, well, if you put it in context, it doesn't mean that. They're undisciplined. That's, if we are undisciplined in our spiritual walk and our spiritual understanding, we start putting buckets of water on their fire that we, we spend hours sometimes trying to get burning. Hmm? We spend hours sometimes trying to get burned. Yeah, our spiritual fire. We put we put hours in getting our fire for God. You know, we we've, oh. we've read, we've studied, we worshipped, we went to church. We put all this time in. We got close to the Spirit. We we know we're getting closer, but then we're undisciplined. I know if I don't read God's Word, it is the hardest for me to stay close to Him. That is the biggest thing that puts a wall between me and him. It, just, just reading his word. I get, I get so, my fire goes down so low just by not reading word. Because if I'm, if I'm not putting more word on the fire, it won't stay, if I'm not fanning the flame. You know, and he talked about we're the ones that fan the flame last week. It's our responsibility. So it's my responsibility to read and to allow the Holy Spirit to speak to me as I'm reading. So I know if I don't read, I get, my fire goes down more if I don't read God's word than if I don't pray. It may take three, four, five days of me just ignoring prayer before I start to feel, ugh. But if I don't read God's word every day, I feel it right away. There may be times where you miss a week or two at church and you don't, it doesn't quite affect you. But then, then it starts to affect you. <laughs> 